Hey guys, what is going on? It's Tech Teenager, and today I'm just going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.0.2. And uh, what this update was was it was an update that Apple Apple put out there just to stop people from using jailbreakme.com. So really quick, I'm just going to show you how to jailbreak it. And you see right now here in the webcam, <laughs> I'm updating the 4.02. And uh, as always. If Apple releases a software update, chan chances are uh, you don't want to update if you have a jailbreak just because of the fact it'll almost always break it or <laughs> unjailbreak it. So uh, always just wait until there's something definite. And for this actual jailbreak, you can't keep your jailbreak and update. You actually have to update and then re jailbreak. But um, I'll just cut the video for a second while it installs and uh, we'll get going from there. Alright, guys, so my iPod just finished restoring and you see right here I've got. 4.0.2 on the iPod itself and in iTunes. So what you're gonna go ahead and do next is uh, download Red Snow from the files in the description. So that's the first thing you need. And the second thing you need is the actual iOS 4 original release by Apple. And um, you'll need to, I'll tell you why you need this in a second, but you can find all the downloads on my website, techteenager.net. Just go over to the downloads tab right here. And this is the first thing you'll see is right at the top. So once you have that downloaded, um, all you have to do is open up Red Snow right here. Browse for the IPSW for the 4.0, not the one that you updated with. So it'll process the firmware. And um, I do not have an MC model. So next, it'll connect to server and download everything, and then it'll jailbreak it for you. And so uh, right here you can change everything you want if you have a 3G or um, an iPod 2G. It uh, doesn't really matter that much. But um, once you're here, just click Next. And so make, it off make sure your iPod is off. So I'm just going to go and turn it off right over here. Alright guys, so I just put it in DFU mode and the process really quick. Jail broke it for me so I didn't get a chance to, <laughs> to go back and record it. It was just in the middle of it when I came back. So um, basically, all it did was it, it uh, went through the program itself, it had a little contextual menu in the program, and it showed a progress bar, and then it said jailbroken. So then I just waited a little bit for my device to load back up, and I see right here, I'm back to where I was with uh, my wallpapers and my multitasking. And keep in mind, I do have an iPod Touch second generation, and if that isn't belief enough, um, here's City right over here. So uh, to fix this City icon, all you have to do is add a source, it's really simple. But uh, just again, more proof um, right there, version 4.0.2. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.